so editing katie is cutting in straight away before this vlog starts i did have a vlog pre-filmed before this but i didn't like it it wasn't entertaining so i deleted it but before i start this vlog which is by the way a i think it's a three day yeah three day vlog which um i didn't plan to be a three day vlog but separately they wouldn't have done well and they wouldn't have been a lot of footage if you you know what i mean it sounds weird but as an editor it does you know do better when they're all together so anyway it's a three-day vlog and it is very cutty and choppy in between the vlogs because as i said i didn't plan it to be a continuous vlog i planned to, them to go up separately but anyway i just wanted to say um thank you for the support in 2020 this is actually my first vlog of the year which is crazy but you guys know and understand the reasons why if you've watched my main channel which i will leave in the description and in the eye above but i just want to say happy new year anyway even though it's late and we are in february <laughs> but um happy new year thank you for all the support it doesn't go unseen honestly and i hope you enjoy the three day vlogs so yeah we can go to better looking katie that's in the past <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Katie and welcome back to my vlog channel. So, I have been leaning towards vlogging a lot more this year because, well, we're in lockdown and I haven't really got much plans for main channel videos. But not only just that, it's the fact that I am also not very, not as, how can I put it, I'm not as, healthy and okay as i usually am um so i'm struggling a bit with like the main channel kind of side of things um but that's okay um i've still got the vlog channel and my main channel will be back i just need to have a little bit more time um to plan certain videos and things um but there is a lot going on at the moment and there will be for the next few months uh so that's that but anyway today is a wednesday for me i'm having an okay day today um i do feel a little bit weak but it's, it's nothing compared to what i've been feeling um recently uh so anyway i've drank quite a lot of dr pepper today uh well yesterday as well but basically i had half yesterday and half today split it into it gives me a little bit more energy it's not really good for my low iron but that's okay um I've just done my makeup. I did, <laughs> I did film a TikTok, but then I didn't like it in the end, um, so I deleted it. So don't end up doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, it's the afternoon, so it's not the morning. Um, but that's okay. I've been awake since nine and out of bed since like ten, so that was quite good for me. I've been watching Grey's again. I've decided to rewatch it from season one i'm now on season three episode six um so i'm gonna take a break from that today um and i'm gonna slowly but surely get ready but i really need a wee so i'm gonna do that as well but i'm just gonna quickly tidy up my room because you know girls make a lot of mess when they get ready uh so i need to put my makeup away and i need to put my hair straighteners away and then I need to do something with my hair because I can't really leave it down because it gets in the way. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I do know I really need to go out today. I really do. I haven't been out since... Whew, it's been it's been quite a few weeks. I'm a bit scared, a bit anxious about going out. Um, not only for my mental health reasons, but... Um, the last two times that I have been out, I have ended up bed bound for two days, so I kind of just, it's my body giving me a sign that I shouldn't be really going out and doing things, um, so, I don't know, I, I do need to go out though, and my mum can't go for me, I need to go to the chemist to pick up a prescription for my hair eczema, which is getting really bad, um, to the point where it's bleeding and it's starting to mat again which it's not great um and i need to go to tesco's which is literally right next door and i need to go and get a few lady things um i need some basically some pads so yeah i do need to go out 
but I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. I might have to get a taxi there and bang, which is a bit lazy, um, but hopefully that will kind of ease it off a bit. Tesco's isn't really far from my house, that's why I'm saying getting a taxi is kind of like, eh. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna slowly get ready and then we'll see what happens. So everyone, I have just put my hair in a ponytail and I've got ready. I'm just wearing a jumper and some leggings, you know me, casual. I've also had to close the blinds, <laughs> peep the double chin. Also, while well, I wish my tea found out that I've got a nice, a lovely, um, not only crusty lips, got a nice spot coming along, so that is great. I've just put on my spot cream. Um, which I use this one. It's actually really good. It it doesn't take it away. If you cold sore cream on your spots, it takes it away. Just a little side note. Um, but I use this calming gel first. Um, it's called Spotless Skincare, and it like takes the redness down and like the swelling and stuff. So you just left with like a little pimple. Um, but yeah, <laughs> my skin isn't great at the moment. I've been battling a lot of skin conditions, like because obviously I've got eczema. And I've had the chap lips and everything from the COVID that hasn't gone. It's also winter as well, so it's bound to happen. Um, I've just had a little bleep um, with my mental health. I I laugh about it now, but I'm actually not laughing. It's just to hide the fact that I'm really upset with myself. So I was sat there before I got ready and I, I had a little cry. I got a little emotional but overwhelmed because I am physically scared to go out because I feel like it's going to make me worse, which that means I don't go out. <laughs> um, but, you know, if I do my little steps, then I become fine. So, yeah. It's horrible when you actually feel physically scared to go out. It's not that. It's, it's also my depression as well. My depression likes me to stay in this room, in this four walls, <laughs> where I mainly am, and just be myself and, you know, be in my own company and sit around all day and do absolutely nothing. Um, but, you know, I've got to challenge myself, so I'm going out. I'm not going to take my camera with me, um, because... There's no point. <laughs> I'm going literally to go to the pharmacy and get some pads and that's basically it. So yeah. Um I'll be back in a little while. Um but yeah. Let's go. And just like that, I am back. I have also had a McDonald's. I got a McDonald's guys. Uh, I think I deserved it. I've been stressed, depressed and broke for a very long time <laughs> and I got some good news about some wages that I didn't know that I was allowed or could have. Uh, so I decided to treat myself. <laughs> um, I also brought some stuff. I'll do like a little food haul later once I put it in my fridge. Um, which you actually sat on top of. Yes, I have got a mini fridge in my room. And it's not so mini, it's actually <laughs> it's actually nearly the size of an actual fridge. Um obviously they're small like under the counter ones. Um but I am gonna put um what's it called on? Uh Grey's. I'm gonna put Grey's Anatomy on and I'm gonna sit and eat my food and then I'll come back to you once I put all my shopping away. Um, it's not a lot, just a few things. I couldn't, couldn't be bothered. I get too tired too quick these days. And I've also got really bad back pain. And I can't breathe. <laughs> um, and all I've done is walk up the stairs. Because I've been back for about 15 minutes now. Uh, about 10 minutes, I'd say. Um, but yeah. I'm absolutely cream cracked. And I'm in so much pain with my back, so... Yeah, that's not great. Um, I might put some ibuprofen gel on um, my spine because that helps. And obviously you guys know I'm anti-medication unless I need it because I'm dying. And I don't think uh, back pain qualifies for needing um, medication. So I'm not crying, so I don't need it. Um, I'm going to watch um, episode six of season three on Grey's. Um, oh, and it's a lovely scene at the start with an uh, open abdomen. So that's just great. <laughs> um, things like that that don't put me off. One thing that does put me off is sick. Sick 
can't stand baby sick and normal sick sick is just disgusting i can clean up poo and wee they sick no <laughs> not happy if i hear somebody heave i'm heaving like but yeah, I'm gonna eat my food before it gets cold. Um, by the way, I got obviously a large diet coke with no ice. Um, large fries. And I got the wrap with, oh, the chicken and bacon crispy wrap with no bacon and no tomatoes. Because the bacon from McDonald's is not it. And the tomatoes, I don't eat tomatoes. And then I got 20 chicken nuggets, but I gave some to my sibling. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, eat. <laughs> eat and watch <laughs> so i have just finished eating my pardon me um eating my dinner <clears throat> or should i say lunch because it's only four o'clock um and now i am watching greys i'm in the middle of watching that and eating that um i realized i could have done a mcbang for my main channel <laughs> you know the one that i've been struggling to plan content for and you don't really need to do much and you eat all the time anyway so <laughs> i could have done a mcbang which i'm really annoyed at um but maybe i can do another one in like a week um because i don't really I, i'm not saying i've started a diet or i'm working out but i'm trying to eat better and do things better because obviously i've got some health issues at the moment and i don't really want to add um heart problems <laughs> to the agenda and i've got some that's stuck in my throat <clears throat> i have qatar syndrome as well it's not a syndrome i want to call it a syndrome a qatar thing i don't know what this is called is it a syndrome or an illness I don't know. I've got Qatar basically and it's a build up of mucus. Um so I'm mostly always congested. Um which <laughs> wasn't fun when I was actually congested with the coronavirus. <laughs> um but now I've got loads of congestion on my throat at the minute. I'm gonna get your food all, okay? So I'm gonna move you back a little bit because then you can see. Oh, I got these which are the Kellogg's Cocoa Pop um, cereal bar. Actually, let me do my nose. Let me do this first. I got some tissues, <laughs> um, which does really badly bring me back to my COVID days because I went through two boxes of these while I had COVID, which wasn't great. Play with me while I just blow my nose. So much better. <laughs> so yeah, got some tissues, got them. I got some pads because you know I had to get the blue ones because they don't have any purple ones left so it's not great. I got the best crisps of all time which are the Wheat Country is crispy bacon. They are the best things going um, along with these. Oh the here here salt and vinegar my favourite but I do like the original and the cheese and onion as well but they're my favourite. I also got a cheese and ham they really um munchable which is kind of cute kind of funky kind of fresh uh what else did i get oh i got some anti back right because you know like to be all clean and so on and so forth i've gained a new um cleaning habit i clean my room every two days literally from like top to bottom it does kill me most days to do it but if i don't do it i get all panicky and it sets my anxiety off and these are apple the lemon one to cool down. Fave chocolate, which is the Dear Milk Orange Giant Bottom. Basically, like Terry's Chocolate Orange. Magic Stars, oh my god, we love those. Then I got these, these, this. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't smell this when I was in the shop because um, I don't know if I've said it before. But my sense of smell has actually been shot. I've got um, a test tomorrow, a physical exam, um, along with my lung capacity test and my blood test. And did I say physical exam? Can't remember. Um, but yeah, this is the vanilla one, and I couldn't smell it because um, my nose is shot, which is what I need to talk to the doctor about. I still haven't got my sense of smell back. Um, short ranges yeah but only if it's strong like apparently oh whew, i can smell that 
that's very very strong but usually from like hmm no i can smells it's gone my sense of smell is gone there i can if i breathe in i can feel it on the back of my throat because it's strong but um otherwise can't smell it so that's not great obviously because my sense of smell is being shot um but yeah i know you shouldn't really do this but i probably shouldn't do it on my bed as well because that's gonna go for there but yeah that's cool that's cool then i got the ears which are sponge cloths and oh my god they are so nice I've been doing things with ASMR lately. I should do a YouTube video of ASMR. Some water, my favourite water. I also like it because of the big bowl and I reuse it afterwards as well. Reuse, recycle as they say. And I got some hand soap which is the Dove Kirin hand wash. Nice, I have to have a moisturising one because I've got eczema. So it's a one fourth moisturising cream, which I think is kind of cool. Um, then I got some toothpaste, favourite toothpaste, Colgate, um, whole mouth health, and it's whitening as well, which is cool. And then I got a notebook, just a little cheap one. They didn't have any nice ones, if you know what I mean, like with patterns on and stuff. Um, and I got some pens, ballpoint pens because they're the best and then that's it the rest are just more pads but yeah that's my mini haul so everyone um uh it's been a while since i last spoke to you i have done a load of washing i've um done a bit of organizing and i put my food away and i think i've done too much today because i am in pain from head to toe but at the same time i feel so numb everywhere it feels like my whole body is just being cut off circulation um so and i'm also getting a migraine so it's not great uh, that spot is painful so i think i've done too much today um i got the doctors at 10 o'clock in the morning and i feel awful so i am going to bed it's currently nine o'clock um i'm gonna i'm gonna go to sleep and just basically quit while i'm ahead um i'm gonna put some brief and gel on my back to see if that will help and on my calves to see if it will just reduce the pain a little bit um I'm just taking off my makeup now and I'm gonna go to bed because I just feel awful and this is exactly what happens every time I've been out so far I feel poorly I've just I've just come upstairs because I feel I get all hot and sweaty and, and then I get all headachy and a bit like disorientated and then my legs go all funny like right now i think i'm having a cramp but because my legs so in pain and so numb at the same time i just i can't even feel it um but yeah this is what happens all the time and it's not fun and i can't be bed bound shut up i can't be bed bound because I've got things to do tomorrow and this is what it's like every time and this is exactly why I don't want to go out and this is exactly why I have not been going to work and I'm just living. I feel like the virus has took a lot from everyone and I'm not saying I'm the worst person this took a lot away from but it's took a lot away from me and it's just physically and mentally just draining but i'm looking forward to tomorrow and hopefully i won't have to keep going through this again um but i think i needed to end the vlog here because i'm gonna go to bed i'm 
because if I don't I'm gonna die <laughs> that's how it feels um so thank you for joining me today and um I hope that you did enjoy this vlog hello everyone it's katie and welcome back to another vlog yes this is my morning voice and i sound like a man but that's okay i am in so much pain <laughs> if you watched my vlog before this then you'll know i had a really bad time last night um because this is i'm vlogging the next day because i i knew it i told you all i told you that i'll be in so much pain and it ruined me just going to the shops and putting a wash on has <laughs> killed me and i've done more in a day than that so i've rang the doctors and i've got a blood test at 10 anyway but i'm gonna speak to the doctors hopefully before my li i couldn't sleep last night i think i went to sleep at like three my sleeping was ruined just because i was in so much pain i just I woke up this morning and I just feel stiff. I just feel stiff and in pain. <laughs> it's not even a joke. I haven't got a headache this morning, which is really surprising. But um, I just, I haven't moved. Well, I have like with my arm and that, which is hard enough. Do you know what it feels like? It feels like I've done a massive workout. Just think about doing a workout and you're so sore and unstretched, but instead of sore you feel like pain that's how it feels and it's just not normal i made it <laughs> oh i am um, i look like a mess that's great um i need to hurry up because it's half past nine and I think he's exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. Um, but on that note, I'm gonna get ready. I am not bothered about what I look like today. I just need to get ready and. Juice. What are we gonna put my juice? Oh. I just need to get ready. Oh, all dressed. I'm ready to go. Just gotta put my shoes on and yeah. Just get some water, snack, um and then that's it. I think I am ready to go and yes I'm wearing a headband. It takes me back to the good old days. There was too many flyaways and I just didn't want them, so I got rid of them. There was some music on the way down. Don't know how I charged my AirPods or but they're dead. No, they charged. Cool. And just like that, I am back. I have been prodded. Um, I'm hoaxed. And the bloody nurse was useless. Um, she couldn't, she couldn't find a vein. There's a massive, there's two actually massive veins down my arm that's why they always say get from my right arm because there's two nice big juicy veins and on my other side there isn't any visible veins apart from like down here but you're not obviously allowed to take them from there um but yeah there's a nice two nice juicy veins in my arm and she could not get it in so she was useless Anyway, I have come back now. I felt awful in there. That's it. They made me wait for 10 minutes and I was in so much pain and I was so tired. And obviously you have to wear a mask in the GP. And wow, let's just say, um, I can't breathe normally, never mind with a mask. So that wasn't great. Now I feel like I am dead or dying and um, my knee has started hurting again, which is great. I just feel great. I actually feel not even just physically exhausted, I just feel mentally exhausted. So here's me getting emotional. I am gonna end this clip because you don't need to be emotional with me, but 
I just I just feel exhausted and I've just I've I've had enough. I've had enough of being poorly, I've had enough of being just trying to fight for some health answers. It's not like I'm asking for you know the crown jewels. I'm just I'm asking for some answers and I just feel like all they say is yeah, we'll get some blood. Oh, it's probably iron or oh it's just the covid we don't really know much about it and uh, it's just exhausting i just uh, i understand that i've had these things from the covid I had them during and worse afterwards if you can believe it or not and i just feel like nothing's being done you know what i mean but anyway I I'm gonna go and just relax. I'm gonna watch grades. I'm gonna watch two episodes. I've got a McFlurry that I forgot I forgot about that I found in the freezer, so I'm gonna eat that. Um I had a cereal bar and I've had some juice. Um I'm just going to relax for a bit because I always feel really awful after having my bloods taken because they're taking some that I need <laughs> but they need that to give me medication. There should be an easier way to find out whether you've got low iron. You should be able to just like, I don't know, prick a finger and find out instead of taking bloody free tubes of blood. I needed that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go watch Grey's and eat my McFlurry and try to carry on living and being hopeful <laughs> so everyone i have been relaxing for a little while now and i'm actually really tired but i'm not gonna go to sleep um because even though i didn't get to sleep till about three o'clock last night i still had six hours so if i go to bed early tonight then i'll sleep also picked my spot um anyway um i've just been thinking you know as i do i think a lot and um this wardrobe that i've got right here that takes up a lot of room uh i've been thinking whether to i don't know i kind of want to keep it because obviously it holds my suitcases and things like that but them suitcases could technically go in the shed and that wardrobe it doesn't really have a lot you know hanging like that's it that's my little hanging because they're hero boxes but you know, like a few things that are hanging and i don't even wear them every day because my uniform's got to go back uh and these that is an old hoodie that doesn't fit it's like my school one um that's got my name on the back of it um that one i do wear that one i do wear this one is merch that no I don't wear, bathing suits, a dress, things that I just don't wear and obviously in this thing I've got the boxes at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, yeah you can see, um, and they're just full of basically most of my clothes, I don't have a lot of clothes, um, I do need to get some more clothes but that's for another TED talk to be honest. Um, but I don't know what to do because I'm trying to decide whether to get some drawers or not and replace that because of the drawers and you know I could have drawers for that and I can put all my old clothes you know the ones that I don't like the ones that I just said that I don't wear but like I want to keep I could put them in a box under my bed or I could put them in the shed or I could even put them in the suitcases up there and put the suitcases in the shed so I don't technically need the wardrobe and I I don't know I prefer drawers because drawers will probably be what well quite a bit shorter than that and I don't know I just feel like drawers and I could put stuff on top of them and you know maybe I can put my tv on top of the drawers instead of on the desk or you know make it look like pretty <laughs> hello everyone so i don't know when the last time that i spoke to you was i think it was about the wardrobe 
um like drawer kind of thing um i have decided that i am going to get some drawers and i'm gonna mom's gonna have the wardrobe and the cubes inside and i'm gonna get some drawers and everything's gonna be the same as it was um i just did a bad thing very really bad thing <laughs> i'm just spent 150 pounds oh dear i'm gonna need chocolate to recover from this one so i'm playing monopoly um currently got quite a good set got 20 chicken nuggets so size in a cook if you can see it and aj's got his as well so everybody, it is a little bit later. It's currently like about 10 o'clock. I didn't realise how much time has flown by today. I haven't really done much and I don't know. I don't know if this vlog is entertaining or what or not. I guess when I edit it, I will find out. <laughs> um, but I just hope that you guys enjoyed it anyway. Good morning everyone, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. So, today. I have had way too much sleep but I still can't bring myself to get out of bed. <laughs> I went to sleep about midnight and I woke up about 9 o'clock. It's currently nearly 10 o'clock and I still haven't made it out of my bed. I just feel so tired. But I shouldn't be tired because I've had like 9 hours sleep so... Yeah. I don't know why I'm tired but I'm just tired. <laughs> anyway, uh, today... If you didn't watch my previous vlog, I'm actually uh, doing something to my room again. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in my room and when I get bored of something or I have an idea, I just go with it. Um, so I've ordered um, some chest of drawers instead of the wardrobe. Um, so that's going to be today's task um, of me basically taking everything out of my wardrobe, things like that. So yeah i'm gonna get up now and go and get some breakfast i look like a mess but that's okay because i'm moving my room <laughs> um so i've got the stairs now i have let me just show you it's easy to show you um the wardrobe has been basically <laughs> emptied um everything is empty in there apart from the coat hangers which are fine everything is now currently <laughs> on my bed which I kind of hate but it's okay because I'm going to change my bed tonight um because I'm going to have a nice shower once all of this is done so everyone the drawers are in I'm just in the middle of packing them which I'm really annoyed at because I thought that these would fit in the drawers but they don't because of this lid um there is a smaller version that you can buy online so I I'm going to look into buying them because I do want to have one for my like paperwork and bits and bobs but it doesn't really matter to be too much to be honest but I do want to have like a little basket in this bit which is going to be very hard to find um but I'm going to try and find one to see if I can put it in the basket but yeah I've started filling so these are the top two this is all like my gadgets camera stuff and here stuff and chargers and things um this one is my this is hats scarves gloves belts tights in a hat kind of cool bras socks which i don't know where the rest of them are i think they might still be in that pile um and then some pants and then this one i've just got all like my bits and me barbs because you know why not and then in this one i'm just in the middle of filling um these are clothes <laughs> leggings and then shorts and then jeans and joggers but yeah just in the middle of filling those out but still got quite a little bit to go because there's still some mess here and there's still a lot of mess here so <laughs> still a long way to go so i will check back in with you when i've kind of got some way with it and why does my roots look ginger a lot of ginger it's just the light my light's kind of orange i oh, don't know anyway i am cream crackered i have nearly done my room so i'm gonna give you a quick overview <laughs> um so this little bit is all that i have left to really sort out um they're going well my uniform is going in a bag along with my wherever i've put it i think i might have chucked it in there my name tag 
my fob and a few other things these well that's gonna go on the door downstairs where all the coats are and these are just jumpers that don't fit but like i want to keep so they're gonna go in a black bag and go in the shed um this is just stuff i don't want as well um yeah my bed i need to change my bed but i just haven't got around to it yet my thingy i need to get my pillowcases out for those which was what i'll do when i change the bed this is kind of like my desk kind of set up a bit plain a bit bland but kind of love it then obviously i have that i know i need to get my washing down um i also need to empty my bin um so this is kind of like my drawer set up at the moment let me just put that on here um so my tv and then obviously my aerial which is down there is on there obviously that's going to stay up on here with that that's just the water that i was drinking that's still the same this electronic straw is i don't know i don't like it <laughs> looks messy um i've kind of just added a few little bits into there um some paracetamols and just a few little things that i feel like should be in there then jeans, joggers and trousers. So I found a pair of trousers from work that should go in there. Leggings. I've only got one pair of leggings. Then again, that is a, some washing that I've got to do. That's basically bedding and blankets. And then that's just like clothes that I've got to do. There's a little basket down there. Um, and then shorts because I practically live in cycling shorts. Then I've got like dressy dresses um swimsuits because they didn't fit in the straw <laughs> and then i've got pajama tops and pajama bottoms and then i've got jumpers i'm waiting for my other jumper my cream one that's gonna go in there then obviously i need to put another one in there as well but then it's got t-shirts i don't really have a lot of t-shirts because i don't go in t-shirts then that's just like my shoes which again i've got to add to because i've got quite a lot of shoes but yeah that's basically like the setup at the moment um everything else is pretty much the same but look how much space that i have now it's just like i don't know it was a it was a better thing for me um to do uh so yeah i'm really really happy and i'm glad but i actually did do and go along with it you know the wardrobe it was nice to have but this is just so much better for me and my tv's up there so that when i'm lying in my bed i can watch my tv <laughs> uh so yeah just a last few little things but i don't think i'll show you any more of the room um like a room tour <laughs> thing because well you kind of already seen it now and it's not gonna change i've got my nice dinner and i'm just about to put greys on i'm hoping that i don't have to retune my tv because i've moved it We'll soon see. I bet I'm gonna have to sell the internet again. <laughs> but anyway, I'm doing that. I'm watching Grey's. There's me. Wow. So everyone, it's me. A little while later. I I've just spread some air freshener. It's kind of killed me. <laughs> um, I what I was gonna say now. I bet my dinner. I done my room. So the only thing that's left to do is go in the shower, make my bed. Um. I need to run my camera then. Uh, and I think just like general like anti-backing the surfaces. I mean it doesn't need doing but you know when you get new things you like your room to be <laughs> spick and span. So I'm going to quickly anti-back. I'm also going to spray my bedding with this. Um, it's a dental um, it's meant, to, it says, kills 99% of bacteria, but it's actually odour bacteria, it's not actual bacteria. Um, <laughs> but it basically just makes your stuff smell nice. And it kills germs, so, I don't know, two more. And just like that, I'm out of the shower. I have done my hair. I washed my hair, I've just blow dried it and put it in a plait. It's a bit dumb. I never fully dry it, I just take off like the wetness out of it and then I let it air dry. So I like quarter dry it if you know what i mean mainly my roots because it's really bad for my eczema and it stings like <laughs> anything <laughs> i was gonna say something very inappropriate then keep it pg uh <laughs> it stings my eczema so mainly my roots are the bit that's dry and then that's just kind of damp <laughs> um anyway i did my skincare which i thought i was i really wanted to um uh, 
I had plans, but I kind of was watching Grey's and I just kind of didn't go with it. So I was going to do a face mask, which was the Hello Body Pink French Clay Mask. I don't know, said that wrong. Um, and then use my Coco Soft Night Cream, um, which I did actually use, but I just didn't use the mask. I forgot about the mask. Then I put on my spot treatment and I am just about to go and brush my teeth in a second. I just need to... Make my bed. <laughs> Make my bed. Um, and yeah, then I'm gonna kind of carry on. I just need to put my hair dry away. I'm just letting it cool down a little bit because you know she hot. Bed is made, and I'm gonna press pause on this. I'm on Grace season three, episode fourteen, and I am ecstatic. I just feel so happy and so fresh and so clean. Um, it's just, I don't know, I feel really organised. I am really warm as well. <laughs> Which doesn't help that I've got the teddy bear um, fleece thing. Uh, cork cover. What am I saying? Um, I also didn't charge my camera battery. But it is half past nine. I am going to be switching my light off in a second. I'm going to be settling down. I've got my drink. I've got greys on. And I think I'm going to end the vlog here. If I can't sleep in the next half an hour uh i'm gonna edit a main channel video um and start on the vlogs but i'm gonna end this one here so uh, if you enjoyed today smash your thumbs up subscribe down below to come and join me and my youtube journey also don't forget to press the bell button to get me to have own time load a brand new vlog which is very frequent and i'll see you very soon with a brand new vlog love you all